Okay, so remember that they're changing my voice. Now, it's obvious when we look at the education system, when we look at how people are behaving, that black people have been sabotaged. There was a time in American history where the most academically successful group of people was an African group called the Igbos, my father's tribe. My father, for example, is a brain surgeon. His brother who passed away graduated top of his class uh, at UC um, Berkeley and at Santa Clara University. Okay, he became a lawyer. Uh, his other brother is a doctor as well. So it's stupid to look at the situation, especially when a lot of African Americans are of Igbo descent. Okay, and to say that magically that these people are uh, performing in a way that is worse because of um, being inferior naturally. The problem is governance. It's clear. The problem is generational sabotage. Just like in Flint with the water crisis, we see examples in Chicago and Mississippi and New York. It's clear that people purposely sabotage black people to try to give white people the upper hand. That's what segregation was about. That's what slavery was about. It's about the social order. That's what COINTELPRO was about. You know, reinforcing the existing social order and it's a system of white supremacy and everyone knows it. So when you sabotage people in their genes, you don't just say, well, stop breeding, right? First of all, everyone should stop breeding because the world is evil. But secondly, when you look at it in a secular sense, you can't just say stop breeding. You owe them and you owe their descendants because you cause permanent harm to their genes. And when you owe somebody, you have no right to tell them what to do with the money. If somebody sued you because of their grievances and they got paid $30 million, could you say, hey, we're only going to pay you if? No. How much more when you've been lying about God in your churches for generations? There's 20,000 denominations. You can't all be right. But you act like the Ku Klux fucking Klan and you're telling us subtly and otherwise that we better join your fucking churches and your groups like that or we're going to get thrown under the bus. Let God Almighty judge between you and me. Let God Almighty judge.